Manual Album Creation. Define page details and cover details for your album. You can also design the jacket for the album. If you want to design the jacket, select Yes in the Jacket option. Define the width, height and spine of this jacket. Also define the left, right, top and bottom margins. From the Split option, define whether your jacket would split or not. From the Logo option, you can insert a logo on your jacket. Remove the logo with the use of the Reset button. Click the Next button and the software will ask you to choose the Album Creation Style. Your blank album with the blank pages can be seen in the Design Album window. First, we will design the cover of the album. Because I want to keep the cover page design on my jacket page too, so here I'm navigating to the cover page. Before you start with actually designing, you could set the preferences layout in a convenient way. Either use the available layout option given in preferences or set the layout manually just by dragging and dropping the panels. Using layout from preferences will ask you to restart the software to implement the changes. With the view button, you can view or hide the tabs that you don't want to use. Go to the full screen mode from here and from the view button, show or hide tabs like this. Now let's start with the actual designing. Now starting with the photo insertion. Go on to the photo tab. You can browse for your photos from here. Photos will appear like this. Zoom in the thumbnails for a better, larger view. Use the sort by option to sort your photos, either by date, modify time, name, size, type, orientation, or also in ascending and descending order wise. By selecting the show or hide margin button, you may on or off the safe area. You may use the show or hide grid lines buttons to insert grid lines onto the page. You can use the show or hide center line button to actually divide the page. You may zoom in your page with the help of the zoom in button or zoom out your page with the help of the zoom out button. Insert photos from the photos tab. Go on to the background tab to insert the background. You can insert the background either on the left or the right of the page. You can also insert the background on both the pages at the same time. Select the preferences for backgrounds from these left left right and right icon. Here the left right icon is selected. Here we have several innovative collections of backgrounds which is categorized in different categories according to their style. You can view them by choosing the category or you can browse and use your own backgrounds. Now insert the background by double clicking on it. Uncheck the fit to size checkbox to expand the background onto the canvas area. The ready tone automatically generates 18 tones of the selected background. You can also choose your own background color either by choosing color from the color picker or from the color palette. Now if you want to remove the background then first select the page you want to remove the background and remove it from the remove option. Now by clicking on the ruler insert guidelines. Drag the guidelines by the left click on it and move it wherever required. Unlock the photo to resize it. Place the photo anywhere on the page with the help of the ruler. Zoom in the photo by scrolling the mouse wheel and pan the photo like this. Delete the guidelines by selecting them and pressing the delete button. Choose one of the variety of borders available in the borders tab. You have borders of various categories. Select the category of your choice. Or you can browse and use your own borders. Now if you select the folder having subfolders, the subfolder will appear in place of the categories. And in this way you can access multiple folders quite easily. Select the photo to apply the border onto it. Select the ready tone button. Here for each border Album Express automatically generates 18 ready to use tones. Apply any one of your choice. Use the reset button 
to reset the ready tone border. Now if you want to rotate the border, then use the 90, 180 or 270 degree button. You can also flip borders horizontally or vertically. The reset button will remove the borders from the photo. You can insert title from the title tab. And you can place it anyway on the page. If you wish to change the font type and font size of the title, you can change it from here. You can make the title bold, italic or underlined from here. From here, you can align your title that's either left, center or right. To change the color of the title, select the color from the color palette. To make your title more attractive, you can use the ready-to-use presets preloaded by DG Flick. All you have to do is double-click on the preset you want to apply. You can also save your own presets. Just select the title and use the Save button to save the preset for further use. Any unwanted preset can be deleted with the help of the Delete button. With the help of the color picker, select any color from the screen. Here, select the title and the photo. Select the Object Base Alignment tab. Under that, you have several options to align the objects. Here, we'll use the Horizontal Center option. Similarly, you can use other options of the Page Base Alignment tab. In the same way, you can add text onto the page from the Text tab. Now to insert Shape, go on to the Shape tab. Here you'll get various types of simple and designed shapes. Zoom in and zoom out of the Shape thumbnail from the Adjust thumbnails. Select any shape and double click on the desired one or drag and drop the shape you want to apply. You can place the shape anyway onto the page and can resize it as per your need. With the help of the Customize option, fill color onto the shape by using the Fill Shape checkbox. With the help of the Color Picker, pick any color from the entire screen or select the color from the color palette. Adjust the opacity of the colored shape from here. To place the photo over the shape, go on to the Photos tab. Double click on the desired photo and place it over the shape like this. Resize the photo like this. Now insert two more photos. Select these three photos and go on to the Equal Size tab. In that, you can use the Equal Width, Height and Size option. And in this way, you can equalize any of the two or more photos quite easily. Adjust your photos here like this. Again, select these photos and go on to the Equal Spacing tab. Use the Horizontal Equal Spacing option. Similarly, you can use the Vertical Equal Spacing option. You can also swap your photos by selecting two photos and using the Swap icon. Now here in the Effects tab, you can apply several effects to the photo. The Effects tab is further classified into Colorize, Blur, Opacity, Feather, Shadow, Glow, Outline, Rotation, Presets and Blend Options. Now under Blend Options you have Normal, Multiply, Overlay, Color Dodge, Soft Light, etc. Select the photo from the Colorize option. Apply the Colorize effect onto the photo. Now the Customize effect from the Custom option. You can also save this Customize option from the Save option. The preset will be saved like this. You can delete any unwanted preset with the help of the Delete icon. You can reset the effect with the help of the Reset icon. Now apply Outline onto this photo from the Outline option. Copy effect from this photo by choosing the Copy Effect option after right-clicking on the photo. To apply the same effect onto another photo, select the photo first. By right-clicking on the photo, choose the Paste option. The same effect will be applied on these photos too. To decorate the page more, you may add clip arts from the Clip Art tab. Go on to the Clip Art tab to use the innovative clip arts. Here are many beautiful and suitable clip arts preloaded by DG Flick. The clip arts are categorized in categories according to the theme. Select the category of your choice. Or, you can even browse and use your own clip arts. If you select the folder having subfolders, the subfolder will appear in place of the categories. 
and in this way you can access multiple folders quite easily. Now double click on the clip art or drag and drop the clip art you wish to apply. You can place that clip art anyway onto the page and can resize it as per your need. Now select the ready tone button. Here for each clip art Album Express automatically generates 18 ready to use tones. To insert it just double click on the desired one. Use the reset button to reset the ready tone. Your page will get designed like this. Now I'm copying all the objects on the cover page. First I'll select all the objects by pressing Ctrl A and then I will copy it by pressing Ctrl C. Now I go back to the jacket page and I paste the copies objects with Ctrl V. I add the same background from the background tab. You can design the jacket in different ways if you want. Navigate through your pages like this. You may use any photo as the background for the page. Select the page from left, left right or right on which you want to apply the photo as a background. Now go on to the Photos tab and select the photo. Click on the Set Photo as Background. The photo will get set as the background. You can also add any background in addition to your photos to give a different look to the page. Now select the page side and apply the background from the background tab. You can add multiple photos at once. To insert multiple photos at once, hold the control key on your keyboard and select all the photos you want to insert. Once you select the required photos, use this Add Photos option to insert the photos. All the photos will get inserted. You can form a grid of these photos without any manual alignment. Select all the photos from the Photo Grid option, define the row and the column of this grid, or you may also manage the horizontal and vertical spacing between two photos in the grid. Now after defining the grid parameters, create the grid with the help of the Create option. The grid will be created. You may resize and move the grid on the page to give the desired look. Pan the photos like this and to make the important area of the photo visible, you may break the grid with the help of the Break option. Now if you want, you can merge two fields and place one photo into the grid. First, select the photo and click on the Merge option. The field will be merged and a single photo will be placed on that place. You can apply any desired outline or shadow onto the grid to highlight it. You can add slogans onto the Album Express pages from the Slogans tab. Just double click on the slogan you want to insert or you can browse and import any PNG or JPG file as a slogan. You can generate 18 ready tones of the selected slogan from the ready tone option. To apply any ready tone, just double click on the desired one. To reset the ready tone, use the reset button. If you want to apply any effects onto the slogan, you can apply it onto the slogan from the effects tab. Navigate the page here like this. Insert a photo from the Photos tab. Now you can split this photo to give a different look to the photo. Select the photo and from the Split Photo option, define the rows and the columns of the photo split. Manage the horizontal and vertical spacing between two parts of the photo. Once you define all the parameters, split the photo with the Split option. You can break the split and make all the parts separate from the break option. Insert a suitable background onto the page from the background tab. You may apply separate effects to each split of the photo. Select the split part of the photo and apply all the desired effect from the effects tab. And in this way you can apply different effects onto each part of the split. Say here, insert another photo onto the page and give a different effect of your choice from the Effects tab. You can also apply Masks onto the photo from the Mask tab. To apply masks onto the photo, here are several masks available in Album Express. Or you can also browse and use your own mask. 
You can zoom in and zoom out of the mask thumbnail from the adjust thumbnail. Select the photos and double click on the required mask or drag and drop the mask to apply onto the photo. Now if you want to rotate the mask then use the 90, 180 or 270 degree button. You can also flip mask horizontally or vertically from here. Use the reset button to remove the mask. You can also do layer masking in Album Express. Now this option is available only for pro users. To do layer masking, select the photo and go on to the layer mask tab. Here you can see various styles of brushes which you can use for masking. Select the brush of your choice. You can manage the brush size, opacity and flow of the brush from here. Click on the place you want to apply the mask and you'll see the mask is getting applied and the part is getting invisible wherever you are applying the mask. You can apply correction by keeping the control key pressed on the keyboard. The corrected area will display the photo again. Keep the shift key pressed to create mask horizontally. Keep the alt key pressed to create a mask vertically and in this way you can apply different brushes and give an attractive look to the photo. Now once you finish with applying the mask, click on the exit button to exit from applying the mask. And in this way, you can apply different brushes and give an attractive look onto the photo. You can reset mask for the photo by using the clear button after selecting the photo. Now go on to a new page. Here, go on to the template tab. To apply the template onto the right page, select the right page option and double click on the template or drag and drop the template you wish to apply. Now right click on the template applied and go on to the flip page option. Here you can use a horizontal option. Now drag and drop this template. Insert photos from the photos tab and do panning like this. Now go on to the my album tab and here you can see your own album created. You can filter the photos according to the use status. That is you can view used and unused photos only. Go on to the photos tab from the filter drop down menu select the used option. The photo that you've used in this album creation so far will be displayed. Similarly you can view the unused photos too. This helps you decide the use of the photos of the remaining pages. To view all the photos select all option in the filter option. Now go on to the my album tab. Go on to the number of pages list box. From here you can add pages to your album. Select the desired number of pages to be added. Here you can see the number of pages added. You can also delete the album pages from the number of pages list box.